really quite exaggerated enough. You asked for a new Mellotron sound? Yes, a new Mellotron sound, so really good. come right at the end actually uh, you know sort of the last five. Oh, I see sorry miss heard what you said there thought you were referring yeah, to the wrong thing. Oh, sorry oh dear oh dear um, well one does normally come at the end uh, however I normally come with a rather powerful power at the end well I like to feel I come with power at the end however on this occasion uh, talking in musical terms it will be quite a, a gentle sort of ending. Uh, no, sort of like, sort of all air and no substance, if you know what I mean. Um, difficult to put into words. Almost the same as at the precise moment losing one's stiffy. Uh, you get this sort of laid back sort of feeling where you know that you're going to have to start all over again. Shall I make it a bit more specific? Please. Right. Uh, one has a Wendell that, in fact, has in fact the 45 degree angle, and one does find with the various pumping up and down, now listen to this closely, John, because this is maybe where you've gone wrong over the past years, uh, one pumps away, and then one suddenly finds that one is due, in fact, I believe the technical term is whitewashing the passage, uh, and you in fact will find that on a normal occasions one does in fact whitewash the passage, and one feels very, very good afterwards. But on certain occasions, sometimes due to alcohol, overindulgence in drugs, or even being a puff, such as yourself, which may be your problem, uh, that you can't in fact do the final sort of, you know, undercut. Uh, this is in term as an anti-climax. So you could in fact say that what I'm about to play, musical terms, is in fact an anti-climax, because one expects the whole load to come flying through, and in fact it doesn't. In fact, it sort of, I believe the technical term is drooping off. But mind you, I expect you're well aware of that. <laughs> 